Outside military barracks in downtown Ouagadougou, an eerie calm broken only by the sound of gunfire. Al Jazeera went inside the camps and spoke to the soldiers. They made a series of demands, but did not call for the dismissal of Burkina Faso's president, Rock Kabore. Burkina Faso has faced attacks by armed groups linked to Al-Qaeda and ISIL in recent years. An estimated 2,000 people have been killed and a further 1.5 million have been displaced while the government has resorted to arming civilians to fight off armed groups. Many in the armed forces see this as a mistake. They say they should be given the means to fight armed groups, not civilians. We were just taken inside the camp as mutineers pointed their guns at us. Inside, we saw mutineers with ski masks firing their guns in the air, demanding to be heard. The government says the situation has returned to normal. The defence minister denies this was a coup attempt, saying President Kabore is safe and still in charge. I strongly deny, first of all, the head of state has not been detained. No institution of the country has been threatened. So as I said, these movements are localised. They are circumscribed and we're following the evolution of those movements. On Saturday, security forces fought with anti-government protesters who blamed the leadership for failing to stop the attack by armed groups. Negotiations are underway between the president and the soldiers who staged the mutiny, but trust is hard to come by. Caught in the middle are the people of Burkina Faso, in a country that appears to be spiralling out of control. Henry Wilkins, Al Jazeera, Ouagadougou.